All right, so I'm going to help you to understand what is going on musically in this song, Lua by Jacob Collier featuring Mario. You're going to get my expert analysis so to help you to understand more behind the mindset and the, the creative process behind Jacob Collier and his approach and his relationship with music. So let's check it out. Lua, Jacob Collier featuring Mario. Here we go. can see his mom there. <laughs> That's interesting. Those kind of flicks. <laughs> That's interesting. So in that particular context, um, if I just kind of just use what I'm thinking instinctively, kind of like add two, that would be perfect to use with add two chords. I think about E <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be that much like it doesn't need to be drawn out like that it could just be a yeah <laughs> yeah so using the add to it's already a good takeaway <laughs> see his mum right there So kind of thirds in relation to D flat. <laughs> you better play the cello, you know. <laughs> you better play the cello. Play those bass notes, yeah. <laughs> What note is that? Ah, oh, D flat. <laughs> Young Jethro over there. See you with the alligator. <laughs> Chris Human on the drums, I believe that's his name. Rob Malarkey on the bass. Okay, so we're in we're in D flat. That was like a sharp eleven. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven, sharp. Major. 
kind of yeah <laughs> so it's a dominant but you got this kind of flat line in there as well <laughs> flat five even not flat nine minor version is it minor So, if you have a major scale, you know, all you need to do is kind of think about, so we call it the Lydian. So, think about, you could think about this like in relation to the key of A flat, so like the five. So, we're in the key of D flat. But if you just kind of play the notes in relation to the five as a major scale, so A flat major, you're going to get all the notes from the major scale that you need. Of D flat, but then you're gonna get this to replace that, and it's gonna create kind of a different world. So you could be in the key of D flat, but imagine you're playing in the key of A flat just for a second. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> that's that sharp eleven feel, very um, spacious. <laughs> just rings out. It's like whoa. <laughs> What was that, Jacob? What was that? So you got that over the one. Like a sharp 11. He's going duh, 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 duh. and this is and all the while that's the, the fundamental chord that they so he's got this against her so Jacob he he's he's just going for it so this is literally a semitone below you got E flat E flat dominant but he's choosing to do a D major over that oh my goodness how did you think of that Jacob how <laughs> Oh, the strings. <laughs> Come on, where's the strings? <laughs> it's how it, it's like pulling all those um, accidental notes or extensions. <laughs> Let's just get one of those. Yeah. Ugh, it's all over the, the five as well. Which makes sense in that context because we did have a we did kind of have that chord before if I just play the fundamental chord, so go to the minor. Or the two right here. And then we did have kind of like a sounds so crunchy with the, with the strings though but it doesn't make sense to have a string line that implies that E no, that makes sense that's right Jacob this definitely has to be one of the um sparsest ways I've seen him play piano. <laughs> Rob Malarkey back there holding it down on the bass. Key change? Maybe. Can 
up to D maybe. And then we're back. Jacob is on the inversion, so the second inversion of E. And I bet this is kind of implying a kind of five, that B note. They're in the key of E now. See the light, see it all around my head. See the light, see it all at home. See the problem, but how did they get to E? Let's back up, let's back up, let's back up. Oh, major. That's in the old key. The D flat. The, the old key. <laughs> Tomorrow will come. You will wake and you ah. will sleep. Ah. Like a five sus or you know second version of of the one, but it's only related to this five note. Yeah, so we'll just go with the sus approach. Yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I can hear that with the vocals. So ultimately, you got this. Yeah, five sus. And that's the thing about Jacob. He knows that in five, um, well, five to one harmony is you know one of the strongest relationships you're gonna get musically. And, and using the five with a sus chord, it's just beautiful. Or you know you can go kind of between that, like a Second inversion of chord one or da, 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 da. that kind of how did they do it? Let's see how they did it. I'm kind of to be honest here at this point. I'm kind of just hearing all the sus to be honest. But he's got da, da, da. yeah, so you can yeah, like a thirteen. Yeah, so that way you still got the beat, the E major in there, but also you've got the nice A as well in the a, C sharp. That's what you need right there, yeah. Yeah. See the light, see it all yep. around my head. See the light, see it all with home. See the light. So what's interesting about that? Da 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 boo da boo da. The bass is still on the five, as opposed to da 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 da. That's too functional. Keep it right here. Keep it more open. Da 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 da. It's a second inversion on the bass, yeah, of the E major. I like it. Wait a uh, oh, oh, once again, five in relation to D flat. We're going back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did Chris Human? I'm going to ask a question. Did he just move his head to the side because Jacob did that sharp eleven note? What do you think? Look, check it out. Check it out. You hear that? You see that to the side? And think about what Jacob just said. He, he dropped in that note. And you have to remember, in relation to the D flat, which is the key, key that they're in, this is not in there. So just check it out again. All major stuff. Then he hits the sharp 11. I think Chris felt that. Yeah, 
Shop 11 stuff. You just have to. <laughs> brum, brum, brum. You have to bring that back with you again. No, no, no. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I like the um, is that cellist. I like her expression. Let's go back. Yeah. kind of implying you know check this out so over that chord progression I know I think I know where that's come from so so ultimately you've got chord one you got this kind of six nine situation um, but ultimately it's D flat major so so that's, that makes sense yeah so you got the add two fair enough with the five two five five two that's fine but do you remember we went to E flat and I was drawing attention to the fact that Jacob was doing this kind of thing over D and the, you know he had the E flat 7 essentially with a D major so I think what they're doing with the with the strings they're just implying a in relation to that D I think kind of that's the approach yeah kind of thinking back to how Jacob did that D major over this E flat 7 yeah so I think that's what they're implying too Relation to D. Two five five two in relation to D. Yeah. Two five five two. I think that's what what they're getting at over there. <laughs> it's the articulation as well. I like the rhythm. I like the rhythm there. I like the rhythm. <laughs> so, uh, oh, okay. It's so subtle. What? I like that. <laughs> And what's interesting actually, he took the rhythm from before. Right here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In relation to, to that E flat 7. <laughs> the strings. <laughs> wow. Interesting 
so he's singing and the and the strings are going along with him yeah yeah Tonic, so missing out the four, and still including the. Oh, that's interesting, but you still got the the major seven in there, so that would be pentatonic, really. If he's kind of got, I was kind of feeling that he's playing a C. Minor, I believe. Or, or maybe more like a sus actually to resolve to the major. Interesting. Let's back up to that a little bit. What is that? It's like vocally they're going chromatically. Giving it away with that major feel at the end, they can hear the strings are going. <laughs> well, it's actually just just that B that's ringing out. I'm not sure if they're doing C to B, but I can hear that B coming through clearly. And we're back to this sus. It's nice when she's singing because her line is. Da, da. This kind of causes a bit of tension of that sus chord essentially. So you got. Da, 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 that kind of feel. Da, da. Yeah. Oh, you better play, Jacob. You better play. I heard that. Yeah. From Malaki. <laughs> yeah. You better play. That's the thing, you know. Which reminds me about the very start of the video when I was talking about the articulation in terms of those notes from the violins. Jacob's kind of employing that kind of idea with all these kind of the ways he's articulating these chords. You know, uh, the, these flicks like the twos so if we've got E major going from the two up to the three the two to the third yeah 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 he's all over that yeah da, 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 da. all that stuff yeah yeah oh Chris is singing as well and Rob <laughs> all over that that five of the E yeah Reharm of it. I knew it. Hold on, let's see what he did there. I knew he was about to do some reharm as well. So that's all it was to be. Minor. Major. Yeah. 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 Ye
major. Yeah. F sharp. Mm, it's inversion. Uh, ah, yeah, first inversion. Classic Jacob using the inversion. So you got B flat, B major, F sharp minor. First inversion of B flat. Uh, hey. Yeah. And then first inversion of A. <laughs> so why has he done that? Let's look at that. So you had B major. Da, 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 to sus normally to B major to sus going back and forth so he's gone B major to F sharp minor which makes sense because if we have A on the right hand essentially that A you know if we put an F sharp on the left hand it's then going to create a minor 7 so that makes sense so you got B major with a reharm that's that's fine you got first inversion of the B major and then rather than going to A on the right hand you're going to do first inversion that's, that's beautiful that's beautiful very simple as well so right here Action. first inversion first inversion yeah <laughs> and you can see her smiling check it out see her right there yeah you better just smile with it <laughs> yeah and he's out so he does that air shot yeah Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed my breakdown and analysis of this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.